acknowledging that he is the one who gives everything, good and bad. He controls both sides, you know? But that's just how Jake is, you know? And these heathen nations, they have no idea who they're praying to. They, know, they, they, they don't even know half the time what they're doing when they go to the church, you know? They just following the customs that have been laid out before them, inheriting more lies and teaching those lies and embedding those lies in, 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 in their kids, which are baby goats. That's because that's what they are. You see? <laughs> Esau wants you to call your children a goat. But we don't have goats. We got we got we have children. Esau and these heathen nations got goats. You see? Anyways, let's continue. Let's read. Let's read Second uh, Timothy one and seven one more time. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, so we shouldn't fear anything in these in these days, in these wicked kingdoms. When we come into this truth, you gotta let go of that fear. You gotta let go of being looked upon or, or judged because you're preaching this truth, or you. You got to let go of how you're going to be seen amongst these men because that shit don't matter. That's all vanity. Okay? But of power, because this word and this knowledge is power. That's why they want to kill you and take take your videos down when you when you bring out these this, this truth. Because it is power. Knowledge is power. Real knowledge. Okay, real knowledge, learning the etymology of words, which is the study of truth. Etymology, truthful study of words, man. They don't want you to know these things. But it should be in your spirit to know and understand. You should have this, because we do have an unction to know all things. You know, and I'm talking to other, these, these Edomites, and they don't care about the past. They don't care about history, but yet they will re rehearse these righteous, these unrighteous acts of pagan worship and, and pagan gods and don't even have an, one clue as to where they come from. And why is it that they have to worship them? They don't know and they don't, they don't even care to know. But anyways, let's, let's get to another one. Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. And what is the first thing that Edomites and these heathen nations say? Nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. But how do we become perfect? What is perfect that we have in our hands right now? What is perfect on this earth that we have right now as Israelite men? The, the, this. The, Lashron, the, the Holy Bible. This is perfect. So how do we become perfect? By being, by becoming one with the Word, by becoming one with Yahweh Shimei Shai. Thus, renewing our minds, renewing our spirits and our bodies. You know, and becoming perfect by eating the whole roll. That's how we become perfect. Okay. So we're supposed to be here. That's a commandment. Be ye therefore perfect as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. But if you listen to Esau, nobody's perfect. Oh, you can't be perfect. Nobody's perfect. You know, how about Shimni Shai is that that uh, 100 rated created character in those games. When you play, if you, if you play any type of sports games and you created your own character, you can never put it as a hundred because they say that nobody is perfect. You always can only be 99. You can never be 100. But Yahweh Shai is 100. And the word was made flesh. Okay? And Yahweh Shai is that word. He was perfect. He is perfect. So we should strive for mastery in all things. Mastery in, in history. Mastery and precepts, mastery and breaking down precepts, mastering in parables, mastery and words, 
mastery in, in, in controlling your anger and your spirit. You see, and how do we do that? How do we do these things? By studying this, this, these scriptures. By studying these scriptures. By hearkening diligently unto the, the law. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So the Lord never, never left us. He's watched us go through all of the things that we have gone through in these wicked ass kingdoms, the highs and the lows. You know, he's watched us suffer and prosper. He's watched us fail over and over again, but get back up and want, and want to be perfect as he is. And want to be in his truth, to push his word and to, to follow his commandments. Let's read it again. Let your conversation be without covetousness, without wanting of things. Covetous, coveting at the bullshit, after materialistic things. And be content with such things as ye have. And that's even in this truth. Because when, you, when you're content, you're going to get more. The Lord's going to show you that you, he's going to give you even more. For he have said, I will never leave thee. Nor forsake thee, and he won't. He, he he hasn't forsaken us, because he's given us back our nationality and our, and and the truth of who we are, and understanding, and he's set up men to continue to push this truth with diligence and sincerity to heal the nation of Yasharala. That shows you that he has not left us, man. That he's still in the tabernacle of Jacob of Israel. Isaiah 59 and 2 but your iniquities have separated between you and your power the most high and your sins have hid his face from you that he would not hear you so all the things in, that we've done to transgress the Lord that is what separated us from him that has separated us from having a, a direct line to him. Okay? And your sins, transgression of the law. That's what a sin is. A transgression of the law. Hid his face from you that he would not hear you. So we must go turn turn away from what that from the things that we were doing before. And come back into the law with with, with seeking seeking the Lord ten times more. With weeping and mourning. You see? And this is why, this is why you have so many Jakes going through the calamities and adversity and and the things that they go through because of their transgressions against the Lord. Because of what they've done against the Lord. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 16. How much better, better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be rather to be chosen than silver? You see, gold and silver is nothing. But wisdom and understanding is and being chosen by the Most High to receive wisdom and understanding is, is greater than all things. Greater than all, all things on this on this earth, man. Let's read it one more time. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? And to get understanding rather to be, be chosen than, than silver. And that's a beautiful precept, man. Because when you understand why the Lord has done these things 
and then you understand that we we should be building our riches up in heaven by doing the work of the Lord. Hey, that's a beautiful thing. That's worth more than anything that you can get on this side of this of this life. It's worth more than anything you can get on this side. Last precept. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter of Slaki. It says Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh by Shem Shai and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. And this duty is not for every man. Because two thirds of Israel won't do it. And it was never given unto the heathen nation of men. The heathen nation's men. Okay? So this is only for the elect. Okay? The elect of Israel. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High, Yahweh Shimni Shai, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Keeping his commandments. Showing fear unto his great and terrible name. That is our whole duty. That is what we are here to do. That is, that is why we are going through what we've gone through. Okay? So, as men of Israel, we need to seek the old wages. We need to seek the old paths. We need to be diligent in the, in the research of words. In the research of parables. In the research of, of, of landmarks that have been taken from us. Understanding our history. Because the scriptures is our history. But when you read it, you got to understand what's going on. Not just precepts. You know, you got to understand the whole thing and what's going on. Because then, if you become whole again. Okay? So with that, I want to say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Shema Mashiach, Wama La Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arikadash. Double honors again to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 men pushing this truth in diligence and sincerity across the four winds to hopefully elect. Shalom to any Aquatium out there listening and learning. Till next time.